Documenting software architecture is like going to gym. Everyone agrees it's useful, but prefers to drink beer on Friday night. However, writing a simple, yet useful design doc is actually much simpler than you would think. Doesn't matter if you're documenting something already existing or creating a documentation for something new, the structure of the document will be the same. As a first thing, you define a business problem. You don't create a software because you have some itchy hands, but rather because you need to, to solve some business problem. Let's say you're designing a tax calculator for freelancers. Every month, a freelancer issues um, an invoice to their client and then they need to report the earnings so they pay the appropriate amount of taxes. You intend the application to be widespread, targeting hundreds of thousands of freelancers across the world. Great! At this point, you formulated the first part of the design doc. What is the problem or why? Now you need to make a bunch of decisions on what. Are you going to make a user interface as a mobile application, a desktop app, a web page? Where are you going to store the data? Locally? In the cloud? Maybe you're going with a database on-premise? How are you going to deploy the application? You can either make all of those decisions in a single document or you can split them into different documents. Either way, the way how you make the decision stays the same. So let's say we're choosing where we want to store our data. Either we're doing that locally or going with some cloud offering like AWS RDS or Mongo Atlas or other options. So first, we list the options that we have and we define the pros and cons for each of those. Local data store is super easy and incredibly fast and it's completely free. However, once you need to migrate the data to another device, you face a problem and you need to create a separate solution for that. Cloud offering though is more complex as you need to set up an account, um, create a database there, make some integration and so on. But you can access the data from any device across the world. Now you need to make a decision. Either option has their upsides and downsides so your focus should be on the business problem. What's the most important thing in your particular business case? I bet freelancers across the world are frequently exposed to losing the device or breaking it or changing it. So uh, the data loss risk is pretty high and we want to avoid it in the first place. So we're coming to documenting the final solution. As we already said, we're recognizing the risk of data loss as high. So we're going with the cloud offering because it's better suited to this particular problem. Great, you made the decision. So now you want to not only to write some text, but also include the diagrams that would show the whole solution and make it more comprehensible. Draw some blocks, depict the components and show the connections between them. You can also include the sequence diagrams to show how the data flows through your system in uh, different use cases. Like you want to document how the data enters your system, like how the earning information enters in this uh, tax calculator, and for example, how the tax reports are generated. You can also include the calculations of the bandwidth and storage into your design document. Not only it will help to understand what is the price you will be paying, essentially understanding the operating cost, but it can also make you to change the design decision or base your pricing on those calculations. Congratulations, now you have a simple design doc that you can use for yourself or share with your colleagues.